what advice would you give to young people who want to be designers or uh, be in another creative field? Like, what advice would you give them in order to make their dreams happen? Because you've been making your dreams happen. Do what you love. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. Don't let obstacles stand in the way because there is always or there are always ways to get around those obstacles or roadblocks or whatever you want to call them and uh, just never give up. What, what's been a roadblock that you ran into and that you managed and you thought, oh, how am I ever going to do this? And you managed to get around it. Well, in the very beginning, I didn't know what I was doing when I started my business and I, and, and I had to file Chapter 11 bankruptcy when I was in my early 20s. I had and no you were not proud of this, no, not I like was Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was actually very embarrassed of it. I, I didn't know what to do, but it, it taught me a lot and it taught me how to really pay attention to the business. But money, I mean, really starting a business without any money. I mean, I had one hundred fifty dollars. Wow! And you, you, it's difficult to start a business yes. with nothing, so that was an obstacle. A uh, lot of competition. Uh, I never went to design school, so I didn't really know how to do a lot of what some designers know how to do. So I had to hire people to do that for me. Um, I, I, I mean, I, the ups and downs really had a lot to do with the financing of the business, which which I didn't have, and I had to figure out how to do that. So it took me a while, but we're still rolling. You are. Do some listener questions? Yes. Uh, our listeners want to know why, for Tommy, did he get into fashion in the first place? Well, I got into fashion in the first place as a result of my love for music. In my teens, I was watching the Rolling Stones, the Beatles, David Bowie, Led Zeppelin, all the cool rock groups. I wanted to be a rock star myself, but I was musically, I would say, uh, dead <laughs> and I, 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 I was looking like a rock star in my high school. I had long hair, wearing bell bottoms and a lot of my friends used to say, oh, where did you get those jeans? Where I hope some of those pictures are in the book, Tommy. <laughs> they're, they're in the book. Okay, they're, they're American pictures. Dreamer, the book. The, the pictures are in the book. So I opened a small shop with 20 pairs of jeans with my $150 investment and uh, sold my school friends cool clothes before okay. I started my own brand. And that was when you were in your town, you're just in upstate New York yes. in Elmira, so you just started where you were. Um, our, our, because our readers would like to have advice about how to get started as a designer, because it is tough. I mean, I think it's tougher than ever to get started actually as a designer today. Well, I think should they go to design school? You didn't, but should they? I think if you go to design school, you get a jump start. And I think that if you work in retail, you really get an understanding of what fashion is all about, what people like, what they don't like, and ultimately the consumer, the person who buys the clothes, is the, the judge. So you have to always figure out what he or she wants. I think we've got time for one or two more reader questions. Do you got any for us, Gino? Um, yeah, cool. What was the what was the craziest thing that's ever happened to you at a fashion show? Oh, well, that's a good one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know so this is kind of funny because I was with Naomi Campbell last night. And Naomi and I had this, this like ongoing joke about how when she was modeling for me in the 90s, how crazy it was because, you know, we would have fashion shows and just finish making the clothes before the girls went on the runway. So we were putting Naomi into a dress. And she was the opening model, and the whole back split wide open. <laughs> so as the music was going, the lights were coming up. We had seamstresses sewing her into this dress. Oh, my God. <laughs> but being the professional that Naomi is, she hit the runway. Nobody knew the difference. She was, I mean, just on fire that night. Kate Moss followed. And that was really at the beginning of uh, Tommy Hilfiger doing the rock and roll shows. We had Bush performing with Gavin Rosedale. Oh, I remember that show. Do you remember show. that show? It was fantastic. We did red, white, and blue Western wear. Oh, I totally and remember that. It was crazy. Rebecca Romaine. We had uh, Tyra Banks. We, I mean, we had some amazing models back then. The, sh the, the music was off the hook. It was amazing. I mean, almost as good as when Pharrell played at the Bryant Park tents for us. But 
I've always incorporated music and fashion together. And uh, going back to the Naomi story, I think that was one of the funniest stories. And you know what? She looks just as gorgeous today. Oh, she looks, she's she not looks aged today. She, she actually looks better today. Yeah. She looks better today than she did yeah. <laughs> back I, then. Because I saw the photos from last night from the party, the gala you were at. She's just stunning. We got one more. Okay, one, one more. Uh, the listeners, <laughs> the viewers want to know, what about hiring Zane as a model as well? Well, you do that? Zane, unfortunately was just clipped by Donatella Versace. That's right, so he's got I his new collection. So I was very sad about that. But look, Lucky Blue is doing a very good job for me. He's very cool. And we just, can I announce? Absolutely. We just shot Gigi's brother, Anwar Hadid, for our denim campaign with this incredibly gorgeous, sexy, beautiful, smart, girl who is a f uh, the daughter of a very close friend of mine. And I don't think you can guess who it is, but Lionel Richie is a very close friend of mine. <laughs> and his daughter, Sophia, is on fire. She is she amazing. Is. So to put her between Anwar and Lucky Blue, we'll get Justin a bit jealous, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it here first, Sophia Richie starring in the next Tommy Hilfiger denim campaign. And I have to say, she is such a good choice. We love her here at Hollywood Life. She actually covered the fashion shows for us about a year ago. She was our special um, fashion show star. She is going to be a super, super star beginning this year. I mean, she's been out there, but now this year she's going to explode. Well, Tommy, you have always discovered talent, always discovered the next star. So we are very excited about that. Thank you for the scoop, and thank you thank for coming you. and talking to us today. And we can't wait to read your new book, American Dreamer. And so for all of you who are American Dreamers too, get the book. It's packed with advice and all kinds of stories from Tommy's incredible career and life.